guys, it's me, Ingenierea. In today's video, I'll be discussing the common Pinoy construction terms. When constructing a building or house, miscommunication can often cause a problems. Your worker might tell you, Habulin na lang yan sa palitada, and you have no idea what it means. Are you also familiar with kapak, nagbubuntis, and wala sa hulog? Here are the common Pinoy construction terms and their meanings. Alulod or gutter. When preparing for the rainy season, tell your handyman, pakitingnan mo naman yung yero kung may butas at linisin mo yung alulod, puno na siya ng dahon. Ampaw or honeycomb. The honeycomb air packets that appear on the surface of the concrete if it's not applied correctly. If your floor has ampaw, then they have to reapply the concrete and smoothen out properly. Anay finish. This is a rough concrete wall finish. Anilio or stirrups. These are rebar ties which are used to tie together the reinforcement bars which will be poured with concrete. Asentada. Asentada is the alignment of the wall. Walas asentada means it's not aligned. Asentahin is to align. Worker might say, Natayo na ba ang asenta to ask whether the wall has been put up? Serujo, the wastage from the tiles, stone, and other architectural finishes and materials. Klebe, refers to the slope of the drain on the wet areas of your home, usually in the bathrooms and kitchen. This slope allows the water to run straight to the drain. Dangkal, length from tip of your thumb to the tip of your pinky finger. Dipa, another unit of measurement, the length of both arms stretch out. Dos Aguas and Cuatro Aguas Roof A Dos Aguas has two sides or slope, and Cuatro Aguas has four sides. Use either of the terms when you want to specify the type of roof. Gawin na natin Cuatro Aguas ang bubong. Dos por dos, when specifying the sizes of wood for rough carpentry, refer to these terms. Dos por dos is a 2 inches by 2 inches strip of wood, used in ceiling or cabinet framing. Uno por dos is 1 inch by 2 inches wood, and the uno is a slim 1 inch by 1 inch piece. Supplier sells these wood strips at 8 feet or 2.4 in length. Duko, when designers want a durable finish for wood, they specify duko, a type of paint finish. This is more expensive than your typical paint finish. Kabay, the vernacular term for the railing and balustrade of the stairs. Halige, posteng sumusuporta sa struktura ng bahay. Halo, ang pinagsama-samang semento, tubig, at bato-bato o aggregate na tinitimpla sa tamang kapal para magamit sa construction. Hamba, carpenters use wood for constructing the hamba or jump, a frame surrounding the door or window. Hulog or wala sa hulog, when masons put up a concrete wall, they check the hulog. The vertical straightness of a wall with respect to a plumb bob, a metal ball on a long string. Kamada means piling of materials in a pallet to keep the materials organized on site. Kanta mesa is the meter joint. A meter joint is formed when two pieces of wood or other material is cut to an angle of 90 degrees, and the line of junction bisects this angle, forming a corner or kanto. Kapak, the hollow sound that you hear when the tile adhesive and cement were not applied properly during the installation of tiles. This means there are air packets underneath the tile. Keep this from happening by tapping the corners and middle part of the tile with a coin. If you hear the kapak, you have to reinstall the tile. Lastilias, cementong pinapalaman sa pinagpatong-patong na hollow blocks. Masilia. When a wall is going to be painted, masilia is applied first. It also used to fill the holes and crack of a surface to ensure a smooth finish. Medja agua, a canopy over a window. Medja, commonly understood in inches. It means a half inch, a half foot, or 0 0.5. Nagbubuntis, there's reason to be concerned when a worker says, May nagbubuntis dito. And it doesn't mean someone gotten pregnant. It means a concrete column is bulging due to weak formworks. Palitada, the application of plaster to the walls, can also mean skim coating. Plantilla means pattern for cutting. 
This term is commonly used by furniture manufacturers. Forma or formwork is a structural term that refers to the penolic plyboard that is used to mold concrete structural beams and posts. Punsol refers to the nail head of the common carpenter's nail. Rebocada, when masons finish a concrete wall, they first apply a rough coat of plaster, the rebocada or scratch coat. This serves as a binder between the wall and the final layer of plaster or the palitada. Habulin na lang sa palitada yan is commonly proposed when wall defects. Rodelang bakal, the metal trowel used for finishing on the walls. This tool is also used to smooth and applied plaster. Salansanin, to put everything in order or in place. This usually happens before a turnover or before the workers pack up and go home for the day. Tabla, a wood plank, usually 5 inches or more in width. Tambol, when unsightly pipes appear in areas like the underside of a bathroom, it needs a tambol, not a musical instrument but a covering made out of plywood to hide the pipe or eyesore. Worker might say, lumabas ang tubo sa pader. Tambulan mo na lang, means a board up or false wall to cover imperfections on the application. Tangila, this is a popular type of wood with a reddish color, fine textured but with large greens. It is the most common wood specified nowadays for rough carpentry such as door and window jumps. Tansi, the nylon used to ensure that the wall and architectural finishes like tiles and cladding are properly installed and aligned. So, the next time you feel like complaining about work on a concrete wall, instead of just exclaiming, ang pangit, you can be more articulate and say, ang dami namang kapak nito, nagbubuntis pa yung poste, at kulang sa pahid ng pintura. If the masons reply, habuli na lang sa palitada, you can reply, huwag tibagin mo. I hope you guys learned something new about this video. If you have any question about this video, just comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching. Bye!